so this is about my experience on Arizona. Now, I'm in Arizona right now. I'm at the library. I just had an altercation with the dude because he was telling me that I can't have my dog in here. And I said, it's a service dog. So, so he got real angry and like walked off and almost had a heart attack and everything. So now, man, I just want to tell y'all, don't never come to Arizona. I'm going to give y'all like a couple of things. The things that I hate about Arizona, man. I'm also going to tell y'all the stuff that I like about Arizona. So, first off, do not come here if you black. Because the Mexicans do not like black people at all. The white people are, they, they are all right. They act like how they act everywhere else. Where they pretend that they like everybody, but they really don't. And the Mexicans, they just cannot stand black people. I don't know what it is. Oh, actually, I do. I asked a couple of them what it is, and they pretty much said that they're afraid of us. They said that we'd be acting too hard or whatever like that. But still, bro, I don't got time for that. Just because you a punk and you afraid, now I can't walk around and just do me? Are you serious? So, so anyway, don't come here if, if you black. Because they do not like black people here. Second of all, everybody already knows it's too hot. It's Arizona. So that's our, our, our A. That's just, that's Arizona. So, thirdly. Let me see the traffic. People here are really rude and mean people. When you go down the street, cars will sit right there like this to block off all the lanes so you cannot go, go past them. They always try to do stuff to hold you back. And if you don't believe me, check it out. That's why there ain't no famous people coming out of Arizona. There's no big stuff coming out of Arizona because everybody here likes to keep each other held back. Everybody always trying to keep each, each other held back, especially in traffic. Everybody drives are dumb. They try to keep you from going past them. They try to race you if you do go past them. They, they like try to race you, and they're the very egotistical people. They um, they 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 just always trying to hold you back from doing the best that that you can, because they're not happy with their life. And so, thirdly. Um, the food is not that good. The food is not that good here. They really don't got very much food. I mean, I, I like pizza. Um, there's a couple pizza spots I like. One is called a uh, B A R R O S pizza. I don't know how to say that. Anyway, the pizza place is spelled B E R R O S, and um, this other pizza spot I forget what it's called. Um, but other than that, I ain't really had no food here that really tastes good. I mean. I don't, I don't eat Mexican food here because they don't like black folks because if you eat Mexican food, they might do something to it since since you black. So I don't eat that stuff. Um, the taxes here is dumb high. The taxes here is dumb high. It's almost 10 cents every dollar. Like, like you'll buy something for $100 and they'll charge you like $109, like $108 for it. Like, it's the taxes high as a mug. Like, you be thinking something cheap. Then after taxes come, you be like, okay, this is not cheap. Okay, um, everybody is nosy. Everybody always looking at you. Everybody's always looking at you, seeing what you're doing, who you with, what type of person you are. They real judgmental. They 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 watch everything that that you do, and then try to judge you off that. And then they treat you off the judgments that they put on you without even getting to even know you. They don't want to talk to you, but yet instead they like to watch you from far. If like everybody likes to stalk you and watch you from afar, but don't want to speak to you, like lots of Mexicans will walk past and try their best to not even look at you. They'll be trying their best to look someplace else, like they don't want to even look at you. But at the same time, as soon as you turn your back, they're looking at you, sending you bad energy for no reason. So, is this is just really just a terrible place to be? There's no beaches here. I think there's a, a man-made beach here. I don't know. Everybody got attitudes. My mom was driving the car today and didn't know where she was at. So she was turning slow. And this big old semi truck behind us started beeping his horn all loud, riding past us, like, What y'all doing? What y'all Like, nigga, bro, do you understand? She's 57 years old, nigga, and she don't know where she's going because we're not from here. So she's trying to figure, like, Come on, bro, you make, make, make me want to slap these niggas, man. And then everybody here always calling the cops on you. They always want to call the cops for everything. I was chilling at the park, and this old man going to call the cops on me and told the police that I was doing drugs in my car when I was sitting there reading a book. Like, seriously, I can't even read a book at the park without niggas calling the police on me? Seriously? The only thing I like about it is the hot weather. 
Um, the hot weather. That's it. The hot weather. That's it. The clothes, the clothing places they got, I haven't found nothing that's cool clothing like I have back home. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. I haven't found nothing cool like from back home. They don't have any of that stuff. I got to buy everything off the internet. The grocery stores, everything got the same stuff. That's another thing. Everybody wants you to all do the same stuff that everybody else does. If you're not doing the same stuff everybody else is doing, something's wrong with you. So you then you just doing something wrong. And they, they, they had to call the police and judge you. It's like we was washing the car yesterday and we were cleaning out our trunk because there's lots of stuff in the trunk. This nigga comes up to us at the car wash and says, well, what are y'all doing? We're like, we're cleaning out the trunk. He's like, you're not supposed to be doing that here. How we do it here is you're supposed to wash your car, then take it to the vacuum, and then vacuum your car. Like, bro. And we, we told him, like, no, nigga, we're going to do it how we want to do it. Like, nigga, what's wrong with these niggas? Everything is really constricted. Everything is really constricted. Like, everything comes in like this. Back on where I'm from, everything expands like this. So everybody mind their business. Everybody go their own separate ways and mind their business until they, they want something. Then they'll just simply ask you, like, okay, what are you doing over here that looks cool? These people here will just watch you out the, watch you out the window for, you for years just looking at you, stalking you. It's crazy. And it's usually the Mexicans. The white people act the same that they act anywhere else, usually. Every, but the Mexicans is the ones that really get on your nerve. For they were the ones that act like they don't like black people when it's pretty much every race against white people. All, all, they always try to make every other race look bad. Mexicans is always um, don't have a green card. That's their judgment is that they don't have a green card. So they over here and they're not supposed to be. Black folks' judgment that everyone has an embassy is he's a he's a, um, a gangster or a thug or something, and he's gonna rob you or something or beat you up. Indians, their little thing is, I mean, like India Indians, is they terrorists. I mean, Native Americans, they don't really have nothing because they be staying minding their business. But everybody got a bad name on them. But white people and Asians kind of do too. I mean, uh -uh. I don't know. It seems like everybody got their own their bad judgment on them, but white people. So for for them to hate black people and as much as they do, it's really like it don't make no sense because they always trying to oppress it. So anyway, let me think real quick. What other stuff I, I like and dislike? I mean, they got some nice looking females here, but everywhere got nice looking females though. So um, I don't know. Let me see. All the stores got the same stuff. Let me see if there's anything else. Um, that's pretty much it, man. It's fine. It's, it's, there's no black-owned businesses here. Well, actually, there was because I just seen an African store. I went to the other the, the deck. That's the thing. They, they don't never advertise nothing. They don't never advertise nothing here. If you, if, if you want to find something, you seriously got to go and like look for it. And Arizona is so big that it's going to take up lots of if your gas to look for it. It's hard to find resources like back home. It's hard to find res resources because like, they don't list themselves on the internet and folks be hating so hard. They don't never use their mouth to tell you where everything's at. Every, when, when they do find something, they keep it quiet and don't tell you nothing. So you, so, so you don't know shit. So Arizona is a bad place to move, but I'm glad I moved here. Because um, to experience something different, experience something new. Before I came here, I had all love for all the Mexicans and all the Hispanics. I had love for them. I thought everybody was, was cool. I thought blacks and Mexicans was cool and had a common understanding with each other. But I came here and found out that it's not like that. And so I really am not too fond of Mexicans no more. From what I've seen, how most of them were racist towards us. I know all of them ain't like that. But y'all understand what I'm saying, where I'm coming from. All, the, all that racism, I don't like that stuff. And then there's a bunch of punk niggas here who be trying to act like they hard, but really don't know nothing about the streets, really don't know nothing about the G-Code, so they be out here doing all, the, all this stupid, ignorant stuff about to get smoked. So just just if you if you was thinking about going to Arizona, I, I, I would advise you to not come here if, if you're a black person and don't have a lot of money. Um, but one thing I, I do know is there, stuff changes up real quick. Like you can have a rich neighborhood right here and go half a mile down the street and be in the hood. And like it's just different vibrations everywhere. The vibration changes up real quick. So there's some areas that are positive, like 
so, so, uh, a donor, Arizona, was real positive. I went there, climbed the mountains and stuff. It was real positive energy, real cool, real high spiritual energy. There was alien spaceships and everything of wherever there, all that type of stuff. And it was real cool, man. So, but um, Phoenix, Glendale, all that type of stuff is not a good area. So anyway, I'm gonna end this video before let me think. Is there anything else I, I, I want to say? Oh, these cops out here don't play. I don't like these cops. So anyway, I'm going to end this video right now. And uh, I'll just catch y'all later. Peace. Oh.